Hello and welcome to Cubase Elementary. This is a series of videos for Cubase Elements users. So today we're going to have a quick look at Cubase Elements 10. Um, I'll start off by saying that I had a quick look at the comparison chart available on the Steinberg website and I was very excited to see that side chaining was included in Cubase Elements 10. However, after I downloaded and installed Cubase Elements 10, it's apparent that this is actually a mistake in the comparison chart and side chaining isn't included, which is a bit annoying and I feel a bit misled. I have emailed Steinberg and I will let you know what they say, see comments below in a few days. Okay, so putting that disappointment to one side, what else is new in Cubase Elements 10? Well, I upgraded from 9.5 and I'll be honest, there's not a whole lot different. The program looks a bit different and Steinberg have updated a few of the GUIs of plugins and other features. Notably, the Studio EQ now looks a lot nicer, easier to use, and also Steinberg have updated how the channel strip looks. It's a lot clearer, bigger and easier to use. And also with the compressors, you can actually get a small version of the full interface within the channel strip itself. There is also an updated Groove Agent 5 SE, which I haven't really had time to have a play with yet, but I'm assuming it'll be much like 4 SE, but with updated features and sounds. So would I recommend updating from Cubase 9.5? For the £25 update cost, I don't really think you get that many new features and I'm still very disappointed about not having the side chaining feature. However, if I was using an earlier version of Cubase Elements, for example, 8 or below, I think it probably is worth updating because you'll get all of the cool features that were introduced in Cubase 9, what with the lower zone and whatnot, and you'll also have the updated channel strip, Groove Agent 5SE, and the other updated features of Elements 10. So all in all, slightly disappointed with Cubase Elements 10 at the moment, mostly regarding the non-existent sidechain feature, and also I don't really think there's a huge amount here to persuade users of Cubase Elements 9.5 to upgrade to 10. Obviously this is just my opinion, and I'll be doing a much more in-depth video into Cubase Elements 10 very, very soon. Thanks for watching, see you next time.